Hey everybody, this is Woo Make Creations here. It's Sherry behind the camera and G in front of it. And so she's going to demonstrate today for you the coolest template. Okay, so Martelli has made us a template for the bony pillow, which will be available for you guys to buy as well. Um, this is for a bony pillow that is three-sided it's great for lumbar support. It's great for neck support, uh, as an armrest in your car. And you'll never, and, and you'll never want to be in the hospital without it or on an airplane because, and if there's two of you, you can also share the pillow between the two people. Yeah, we do that all the time because I always forget my bony pillow, but G travels with hers like it's her security blanket. Yes, I will never go anywhere without my bony. So, and here's another example. You just, you can use up your fabrics as long as you have um, a piece of fabric that is long, uh, big enough to fold and still fit the bony. So here's the template. You wanna put this flat part right here on the fold of the fabric. So you can, you can cut multiple layers at the same time. It doesn't matter. We're gonna be using this amazing 28 millimeter ergonomic cutter that the Martelli brand makes and um, it's very very sharp and easy to get around the curves so we're going to set our template with the straight part of the template at the fold and just make sure it's it's covering all of our fabric yeah you see G G likes to play with fire with whatever it is she's doing I knew you were see how say close something. she is but I guess it's, it's fine. It's okay. fine. So now you're going to just give this uh, template a little push and now it creates like a vacuum. And now we're going to just start cutting this. We're going to go around the first curve. Just make sure we cut through all of our layers. We're going to just hold on to our template and twist it and all the fabric will stay right with it without messing up. Everything under this template is still right in the same place it was. We're going to go again right here. Going to just make sure it cut and turn one more time and go right around the other side. And we're finished. Now we have cut all three sides of our bony out at the same time. It's nice to have a bunch cut out when you are in bony making mode. That way you can just mix and match whatever things you've already cut out. And, um, so we'll take this over to the machine and we'll show you how to sew it up real quick. Okay, on the way to G's machine, we're just giving it a quick press there. Yeah. And um, G, why don't you tell them what you stuff your bonies with? So this is polyfill and it comes in all kinds of different resiliencies. Um, you can stuff these however stiff you'd like them. I like to usually use the one that says stays put but um, I didn't have that available to me right now, so this is what I'm gonna use. Okay, and on the way to the machine, I'm gonna show you, we're working on a uh, Burke's Beauty um, quilt. We're gonna do like a rainbow quilt. And that's also a template from Martelli, Martelli as well. Um, it's called the Burke's Beauty Block. Yes, I and love that block. This is what we're working on that's on a design wall right okay, now. So now we're at G's machine and she's gonna show you how to sew the bony pillow together. Okay, so now you're gonna take two of your three sides and you're gonna put them right sides together and line them up as best you can. And then, then you're gonna fold it towards yourself and try to get the halfway point on here so make a little crease and then when you open it back up you'll see where your halfway point is i like to mark it with a pen so i don't have to guess where it is and sometimes after you crease it you can't really see it that good and help if you had something that would write on the fabric okay so that's that's your halfway point and while we're marking which i need to line this up a little bit better while we're marking this, um, we're gonna use three finger width right before the curve here. And we're gonna mark this to where we won't sew in between our marks. 
That way we'll have a place to stuff our bony with. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna start where that mark is, okay? And we'll drop our needle there and we're gonna back up a couple stitches just to make it nice and secure, just a little bit over that mark that we made. And now we're gonna quarter inch sew this all the way around just on one side. When we get around to that first, that middle red mark that we made, we're gonna be done with this for a few minutes. You could use some pins to help you line it up. I'll show you how to pin it in a minute when you get to the other side. Like I said, it's not that fiddly. You, don't, you can not be so precise and not have to worry about it. Okay, now we're gonna come around to this mark and we'll sew a couple stitches and then go back and forth, back and forth, just to make it nice and secure right there. So now that you, you've got this first side done, you went over your red marks and then you backed up your stitches a little bit, you're gonna flip this over. Try to put it on itself there. And then you'll take your third side and lay it right sides together with that original first one okay and here's where some pins will come in handy so you can put a little pin here line this up put a little pin here oh that was a bent up pin okay and you can hold these in your hand and just line them up pretty good. Pin that there and on around to, that way it stays as one piece. And we'll put one right here. All right, so now it's starting to look like a bony, right? All right, so we'll flip this around and we'll fold it on itself again. And we're gonna start right here where the pieces come together. You can feel where you originally sewed. And we're gonna stick this in here, drop our needle at that halfway point. And we're gonna back up a few stitches and you're actually going across that fold that you feel underneath here. Okay, and then just quarter inch sew this all the way around. Again. Since we pinned it, we know that it's pretty, it's staying pretty lined up. Okay, we're gonna slow down when we come to our halfway point again, and we can feel where that has been sewn underneath. So we'll go across it a couple stitches and back up and back up and back up. And cut it. And now we're on our third side to go. Okay, now we'll flip it so we're only sewing just that side again. Here you can see and feel where we've sewn and made it secure. And that's what makes a little pucker looking thing on the end of the finished bony. So we're gonna do our last side here. We're gonna drop down, go back a little few stitches and come on around our last side here. Uh, oh my gosh, I think I sewed across my opening. I did. So, we're going to have to make an opening really quick because I made a mistake, which is fine. We'll just mark it here. Three fingers, and I'll just not sew in between those three fingers since I 
messed up on the other side. That's what happens when you're filming. So we're gonna come, come around to where we have marked it. And we're gonna really backspace, 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 and really secure backstitch, I mean. I'm Gosh. saying backspace. I was thinking, are you on a computer now or what? <laughs> well, this Janome is kind of like a computer. Okay, so we really secured it there, and we're gonna start up again right here, and really- I'm gonna go ahead and take this pin out, and now we're gonna just keep rolling through slowly around this curve. And G hates to go slow. Yeah. But this project kind of slows her down a little bit because she's a speed demon. So now we're coming back on our original stitches that we can see, and we're gonna go I, I shouldn't say backspace, but I don't know why I want to say backspace. We're going to backstitch, backstitch a couple and make it really secure and then cut it. We're going to remove our pins and see there's our opening. Okay, we'll just cut this little. Oh, I love these snippers, by the way. Okay, so now we're going to just pass the whole th thing through this hole. That we, the space that we left to stuff it with, and you'll see what the bony's gonna look like here. I like to shake them. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but okay, so just stick your fingers in the because we're filming and you probably shouldn't do uh, crazy stuff on film. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, and so here's what the bony's going to look like. And <laughs> stop making me laugh. <laughs> stop. Stop it. Okay. Okay, here. Now, this is... <laughs> Now you can't see her. There. Yeah, you're making me laugh so much. I've been... <laughs> okay, so now that you've turned your bony right side out, um, take a knitting needle, a chopstick, or whatever you have handy, and just stick it through the hole and just kind of trace along your ears there and um, just push out the fabric a little bit so it's not folded. And then Sherry, grab that stuffing, and I'll I'll um, show how I do the stuffing a little bit. Not the whole thing, of course. So you just grab grab pieces like this, and start stuffing it in that hole. And the more you get in there, you're gonna start forming these. You called them ears. Ears or, or I don't know, whatever. The, whatever they're called. I don't know what I want to call them, ears. Anyway, and you stuff it as firm as you'd like, but make sure you're forming these three ears. Yeah, bonies have three ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is the end, and you could have shown, get, get the other bony so we can show it. Oh, sorry. We showed it at the beginning, but. Okay. So yeah, see the two, the three little ears right there and how it puckers? <laughs> okay. So thank you, Sherry, for doing all the videography and we'll see you next well, time. Well, I'm Sherry, in case you all didn't notice the wardrobe change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take care and we'll see you next Bye, time. Bye, everybody.